I was a kid, I think my dream was to, um, basically my dream was to drive trucks and travel around Australia, like drive long, big, long distance trucks. I don't know why, because I grew up on a farm. And uh, I always had that idea of sailing around the world, even, even though I lived nowhere near the ocean or whatever. And it seemed to me that in order to get travelling, I started driving trucks. So I really always wanted to do that and I enjoyed it mightily for many years. And then all of a sudden I didn't enjoy it. By which time I went sailing all over the world and now I'm really enjoying the travelling sailing. I enjoy the routine of, of being on watch at night and getting up in the morning, see the sunrise, see the sunset. It's just the, uh, and I also enjoy that, that you've got to be very actively involved in watching the weather and uh, be prepared for when the weather changes. I just enjoy the routine of being at sea because it's far away from being in the city. When I had my business, I'd have get phone calls all night. I'd be working all weekend on the phone, on the telephone. I'd go to the office on Monday morning. There was a, a bucket full of stress every day, a million things going wrong. Um, whereas here, it's you're in your own time capsule. You deal with it as it arises, but there's no, um, there's no huge long-term plan, it's just to get to the next port and I find it all very simple. You, you're up at one morning from three till six and then the next morning from six till nine and then and you, you roll through all the different hours of the day. So you, you get, a, you get a, a good variety of time changes, which I enjoy. I also like the idea that no matter what goes wrong, you have to fix it because you can't call roadside assist. You need to be able to improvise. When you're on land, you always have to be somewhere. You always have to deal with traffic. You always have to deal with people that are a pain in the backside. Um, generally, all of those people that go to sea, not always, but generally, they all want to be there and they all want to have fun. So therefore, you don't get the stress and strain and criticisms and all that sort of thing that you, you get at home, or at least we don't on my boat. I think if, you, if I was to stop doing what I'm doing and just go home and sit there, I'd fall apart. I, I know I would mentally, apart from anything else. When I'm, when I'm sitting around and I get up in the morning and I've got nothing to do, I become a pain in the neck, so I'm told, by my family. But I always had that dream that I was going to do it and I did not know how I was going to do it but I just kept taking every opportunity to do anything I could on a boat and fell into it basically. Thank you guys. <laughs> You're welcome. We're having our own recycling.